Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Praveen and you are watching Techie Praveen. So in the previous video, we have seen that how to create this simple UI. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate API in this UI. So let's get started. So for this, we need to uh, look for one API that is new API.org is a website where you will get a lot of real time APIs. So for Accessing this, you need to log in first by using your mail IDs and then uh, go to pricing. There are three different uh, pricing for you. So, uh, if you are using it for learning purpose, then it's totally free. And if you're using for business and advanced, you need to pay something. So always choose developer for learning purpose. Then there's a documentation. So in documentation, you will get a lot of uh, different, different information and you will get a lot of good help from this documentation that how to uh, integrate integrate this API into application. There is a client library is also there like Node.js, Ruby, Python. So you can use any language to integrate this API. So let's go to home page. And here, and when you scroll down, you will get a lot of different, different use API. If you scroll left, you will go to left. And if you scroll right, you will go to right. So there is a, a Tesla news UI every, uh, after from yesterday. And then articles about Tesla from last month, top business headlines in the US and all. So there's one option name is get API key. So if you click on it, you will be able to get your API key. But currently we do not need this because if you look at this API, you will uh, already getting one API key uh, through this API. Okay. So you don't need to, uh, to interact this separately. As of now, we, are, uh, we only look this uh, API key in the, our application. So if you closely look into this API, uh, this is the JSON response, and this is basically a map. Inside this map, there's an array list. So what is map? Basically, the map is a data type where you will get data in the form of key value here. Status is your key, and OK is your value. Total result is a key, and 9454 is your value. Like that article is a key, and you will get the values in the form of a array list okay so i need to access this uh, information and need to uh, show these details into our application so let's go back to uh, our data so before this i need one dependency uh, that is http so go for pub dev this is our official website to uh, uh, to get different different dependencies for flutter applications so i need http So search for SCTP. Yeah, your first one. Just copy this. And paste this inside your pubsy.yml and run this, okay? And if you want, you can directly import it or you can also copy this line for official import. Perfect. So I am uh, using this SCTP dot as SCTP. Let's wait to pub, uh, to pub upgrade. Let's wait to pop, uh, pop add to add the SCTP dependency. Okay, so let's uh, run this. Uh, yeah, exit code is zero, means everything is fine. So let's write some code. So a string, a string response. I'm using a string as a string response to save your uh, overall response coming from the, uh, by hitting the API map. By using map, we're going to store the map response. And here we need list, list response. Because we need data from the list. So this is done. Now I need to write one function that is future 
five we are using future because uh, we need information. Uh, we need to wait for the information. That's why we are using future. So here is we are using uh, null safety. So so we need to put question mark here. And here I need to write stpp dot response response. And the string URL. This is the URL which I need to hit. So I need to hit uh, this URL. Just copy this and paste here. If you want, you can also uh, create this function, or uh, create this method in a different file. This is not perfect. And now, response goes to await. We are uh, using await function to wait for something. If you are waiting for you know, data, or, uh, then we need to use, we need to use await. Or get URI dot parts URL. This is this URL. And we need to write async over here because we're using await. And now as error is gone, we need to put some conditions over here. If response dot status code response dot status code dot status code equals to 200 then set state the string response equals to response dot body Basically, we are uh, saving this response body to our string response. And then map response. It goes to JSON or decode because we need to decode the JSON. Response or body. So basically, we are uh, decoding the uh, response body to map response. And then list response equals to map response, map response. Oh, perfect. And we need to uh, fetch details inside these articles. Inside the articles, we'll get source, ID, name, author title description and this uh, this is one uh, one object and this one is a uh, different uh, object where you will get different author different title different url images published content so you will get different different news inside inside this article so inside the article you will get number of uh, articles so we need data from the articles that's why uh, i'm just copying it in articles and putting it there Uh, map response is good. This one will be the map response. But, but not the uh, error is gone. I need to import this JSON. Perfect. 
And now I need to put this because we're using health safety. So we need to use this. So uh, if part is in our else part, so I'm writing only one uh, error like uh, error in loading, error in loading, simple error, perfect. Now I need to initialize this uh, API call because I need uh, I need this to be run uh, in the app during start. So I need to initialize it inside the end state. Okay, so this one is API call. So L is showing, so, okay. Name is different. So let me put, uh, let me put API call in back now. Now the error is gone. So my details are uh, getting fetched from this uh, from this method. I need to integrate the data inside the application. Now. So let's go down. And yeah, item count is three. I need to uh, to get the list uh, number of num item counts from the list response. List response dot length. Perfect. And now let me rerun the application. And so as you're able to see that it's uh, fetching the number of blocks. So I have changed the uh, number of uh, News tablets. Uh, basically, I'm fetching the list from the list response dot length, so it will uh, it has increases the number of blocks. I need to change the inside the data basically. So let's uh, scroll down, and change. Yeah. So I have changed the list response dot length. So right now it uh, picking the length from the uh, API. So I need to change the image. So I'm changing network image is so this response. This response index here is your URL to image. So I need to pass it like this. And let me rerun this. See, now my image is getting loaded. Perfect. And now I need to use fit. It equals to uh, box fit. Box fit dot cover. Perfect. Now click on it. Click on refresh. All images are getting fixed inside this. Now I have to remove this sample text. And my text should be gone. And let's uh, write description. So description is nothing like uh, list response. Uh, list response dot index. Why we using index? Because we want uh, because we are uh, getting uh, list from the index. So we need. Uh, Images uh, based on the index, every each description based on the uh, index. So that's why we just need to copy that. There's a one more uh, way of doing this that you can create a one object class and you can easily pick that. And we need to remove the constant part. Put 
doubt to string or not let me uh, rerun this and check the sample text will be uh, could get off in your description okay there is the error and to resolve it first so now you can see that uh, sample text and description is there so now this is overflowing the bottom so we need to uh, use overflow so overflow is text overflow dot ellipse This will be under now. If I click on this, the overflow will, overflow will be gone. See, now this page is perfect. The one email is not loading because might be some error in the API itself. Okay, I need to give some padding also. This page is perfect. Now I need one image over there. So I'm using network image only. So here I have written your one network image. So I'm going to pick any network image here. If you want, you can also uh, use the gallery over here. If you want, you can uh, use any gallery over here, and you can use the index to uh, scroll down. Like in, I have used index here, like list response index or URL image. So you can also put a list uh, list uh, response index image. Okay. Now, if I'm refreshing it, you will see one image over there. Now everything seems fine except that uh, that main image is not loading. So let me check uh, the URL first whether this URL is perfect or not. That is you are reflecting the image or not. And then in, I'm going to investigate more. So okay, la. Uh, so basically the image is not correct. So image is not correct. So let's copy this this image and check this image is. Uh, let's copy this image and try to. Okay, let's reload this. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I think there was a syntax error. So everything seems fine except some uh, margin and padding issue. Everything seems fine. No error, no anything. Uh, only some padding and issue, right? So let me uh, provide this container certain padding. Uh, It provides a padding over there, and inside this URL to image addition, addition image, and this one. So I'm going to provide some margin padding over there also. Yeah, let's check. Let's run and check. So I can find a lot. Yeah, so uh, everything seems fine. Uh, it's getting the proper margin and proper everything. Uh, okay, so now I need to uh, create the news screen. So I have already created the news screen dot dot, uh, which requires certain parameters when required when it. So uh, it required image description, author, and title. 
so whenever i am clicking on any of this image for uh, news card it will going to land on the description of this page so let's uh, create the uh, news screen page so i need one interval container inside this container Well, and well, I need tab. On tab, I need to move it to different uh, new screen. Perfect. Perfect now. And navigate dot push navigator. dot push context and material phase out builder and inside builder I need to pass context. Now I need to pass new screen. New screen. Perfect. Now screen uh, new screen requires certain parameters. Like uh, if I hit control uh, control space, it will show me uh, it requires certain parameters. New screen. I need to import this first. Perfect. And now it asks for certain parameters. Author. So it requires author. So the thing is this response. List. Index. Author. Author and then description perfect. Now just copy paste this and put in description. And here the title the image uh, URL to image. So basically, this is title, this is author, this is title, this is description. You can just copy paste it. Title and this one is image. This is URL to image. This is description. Perfect now. So uh, once you click on it, it will uh, use this index and it will provide you the it is so let's rerun the application and check whether it's working fine or not are there issue okay there's a error here in the screen itself So everything seems fine. Uh, uh, files are not there. 
so i need to go to the author that is screen new screen and i have to pass the values here also network image is your uh, uh, i need to pass all the values author name so widget dot author put dollar here to get the value of this fine put constant here to remove this error in my laptop it will be so widget dot title and description is widget dot description now now let me refresh it so everything seems fine let me uh, rerun this and check whether it is working fine or not so if you click on any of the image you will be directed to the uh, that uh, to the detail is uh, news of this scheme here is the author name here is the uh, description name title everything is there if you want you can change the, your title uh, and uh, author name is the style will be let's make is uh, 14 and tally your title is 20 so now the application is complete uh, everything is working as expected so this is the final output you can change uh, a lot in uh, here in this application like ui animation part and you can put the um, main gallery as a image sliding gallery or something like and you can also see the design so i have uh, tried to give you one basic idea of how to integrate the api if you click any of the image then it should land to the description of the image description of the news so that's it for this video i hope you like the video and you like my videos if you like if you like my videos please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you are facing any issue in better please let me know in the comment section I will more than happy to help you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.